Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In the last episode, we learned how to use XRAM's Regions Clock. If you've not seen that video, be sure to click the link above. In that example, we launched Regions Clock by going through the Actions list. In this episode, I'll show you how to create custom toolbar entries as well as custom keyboard shortcuts to launch any action you desire. Let's take a look. If you're not familiar with the Actions list, this allows you to quickly search every feature, command, and menu entry that's available in Reaper in a searchable list. To access the Actions list, click Actions, and show action list. You can type in what you're looking for in the filter. For example, if I'm looking for anything regarding markers, I can type in the word marker in the list filters to show any and every command that has anything to do with markers. Once you've selected an item in the action list, you can run it, run and close, or you can add shortcuts for the selected action. In that last video, we used Regions Clock. If I filter for clock, I see the action for the script, XRAM Regions Clock. I can highlight this, click Add, and press the keyboard shortcut that I'd like to use for it. Let's try Control shift r Click OK. And if that key combination is not already assigned to something else, I can press Control shift r and the Regions Clock opens up from that key press. Let's close that and remove the shortcut and try again. I'll highlight the shortcut and delete that. Click Add, and this time I'll try the letter R. When I press OK, I can see that this key is already mapped to the action to toggle the transport. You can override that mapping if you'd like, or click No to choose something different. But what if you'd like to add something to a toolbar instead of using a keyboard shortcut? Let's take a look. I have my toolbar at the top of Reaper customized to show things that I commonly use that may not be conducive to having a keyboard shortcut. Using the same example of the regions clock, let's add a button for that. I'll right click the current toolbar and choose Customize Toolbar. You'll see at the top of the Customize dialog that this shows the name of this toolbar which I've called Mike Top Toolbar. There are multiple toolbars available in Reaper and you can rename them as you wish. Normally I have the toolbar for Regions Clock right beside the Node Off button. I'd like to have the button after Node Off and before the separator. To place a button between existing buttons, right click the latter button and choose Insert Action. I'll search for Clock and select Script XRAM Regions Clock Lua. Choose Select and Close and you can see that the button has been added into my toolbar. If I save this, the button now appears in my toolbar in the desired place, but the button is cut off. If I go back into the Customize Menu dialog and right-click the desired button, I can choose to use either a text icon or change it to a graphical icon. In this case, I like the text icon, so I'll choose Text Icon, give it a new name, I'll call it Regions Clock, and since this word is a little bit long, I'll choose Double Width Toolbar Icon and press OK. Once I save this, my button has doubled in width and I can see the words Regions Clock without it being cut off. Clicking this button now launches the Regions Clock just as we desired. You can also use icons in your toolbar. If I take a look back into the Customize Toolbar dialog, let's change the icon for my Monitor Mix button. Right click Monitor Mix and choose Change Icon. This will bring up a listing of icons that are accessible from Reaper. Let's filter for Monitor and see what we find. You can choose any icon that you'd like, but since this is the only one that shows up with the filter monitor, I'll use that for now. The new icon shows up in the preview below. Once I hit save, it will show up in my toolbar above. This particular icon brings up my Cubus generator for headphone mixes. But I prefer it as a text icon, so let's change it back. Right click monitor mix, change it to text icon. I prefer double width toolbar buttons for longer words. I'll check mark that and press OK. Then save, and my toolbar button has returned to the text based icon. You can create keyboard shortcuts and toolbar icons for whatever action you like. I change mine out frequently based on what I've been using the most, and you can have more than one toolbar, either docked or floating. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. Holy caffeine!